to the world. Subscribe now to the Hot 97 YouTube channel. It's Ebro in the morning with Laura Stiles and Rosenberg. What, what, what you got today? Well, I mean, listen, it kind of felt like we st- were starting to see the beginnings, maybe, of Kanye saying, congratulations, I played myself. Where do you see this? Well, uh, yesterday, you sent us a clip of him on the uh, this random podcast. Yeah, I don't know who this is. It's it's his name is Lex Friedman. Uh, he's a Lex. he's an engineer. You know Kanye is very big on engineering. I love it. And Kanye gave what kind of amounted to an apology. Here you can listen. But we have we the audio. Oh, you do. As my brother, I want to apologize to you for how that made you feel, and to the rest of the people that carry specifically that pain, not the pain that I talk about that doesn't seem to be as much of a pain for people what when is I this? talk about the abortion clinics and stuff. That's it's Live like the that's the argued pain even in my own community. Like not everyone thinks that's a pain. But for the Jewish community, it's collectively this was a pain. And I've gone so far just psychologically on this journey since that statement had happened where I didn't want to, like, give up the candy in my pocket. I didn't want to say, hey, I stuck my can- my hand in the candy jar. I wanted to defend my freedom of speech. I wanted this. But even with freedom of speech, pain is All right, pain. so what you're hearing is, I don't, I don't know what the other sound is, but what you're hearing with Kanye right there is, listen, is it overly wordy, talking too much, still kind of copping, please, to some degree? Yes, it is. It, uh, you mean as in people have a hard time saying, yo, my bad, yo. I effed up, and just shutting up after that? But he does, if you listen to the whole thing, he does basically throw in there that what he was doing was hurtful and not helpful. And that, like, he, he, he was not expressing his pain and anger well and was only making things worse. He did say that in there. So maybe, Congratulations. You played yourself. Now, of course, it comes on the heels of the biggest congrats maybe we've ever seen in terms of the Adidas deal. Now, maybe he wanted it. So it's not a congratulations you played yourself. You wanted out of the deal. I'd like to know what right. the follow-up's going to be, though. Well, it'll be what many people are saying is now he gets to be independent. He gets to own everything. He doesn't have to deal with uh, It sounds like Adidas, though, owns, like, basically everything. I think they own everything except the slides is something I read. Okay, I think so I remember that. The, all the sneaker silhouettes and designs, though, are Adidas, I, I believe. Yeah, because I saw some stuff moving around, too, where people are like, we're not going to continue to support Adidas making money off for Kanye's intellectual property. So they probably do own all of the styles. So they're telling people, don't keep supporting Adidas, basically using Kanye's imaging and still making money while he's not getting any of it. The, who is saying that? There's a, there's a segment of the population mad at Adidas for using Kanye's stuff? Yeah. What you mean for keeping things that they helped him develop? I, 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 I don't know how you find these this conversations. because I mean, you know, the, it's the worldwide Because the biggest internet. thing, of course, is people were angry with Adidas for not cutting off the deal with Kanye. Right. And I do want to... This is nuance. This is tough. Here we go now. Stop the music. Nuance and tough. <laughs> there was something going around yesterday that was annoying to me that I thought was like people thought they were being really profound, and I don't think they were really thinking through. They were basically going on some... Kanye said what he said about slavery and didn't lose his deal. Okay. He Adidas. said this about mm-hmm. Jews and he did lose his deal. That's right. Right. As That's if right. those same people who were saying that would have been supportive if white people had told a black man how he's supposed to speak about black history and and fired him at the time. Well, see what I don't think that would have played well so then. So what you're articulating, which I saw the same thing as well, individuals claiming that on behalf of black folks who would have been offended by what Kanye said about slavery, Mm -hmm. corporations who aren't run by black folks would then, on their behalf, go and stop a deal. With a black man. With a black person. Correct. And factor in that after Kanye said what he said about slavery... Keep going. Black artists... Comedians, everybody, actors, everybody ran to Kanye's defense and partied with him in Wyoming mm-hmm. in Bro. celebration of his new album. And continued to for years. So real quick, you're expecting that Adidas, 
who's making <laughs> gazillions of dollars with him would take a bolder stance than uh, than black artists who ran to stand next to him? It's not. Of course. I see what they're saying. <laughs> of course. It's an unreasonable. It's an. Everyone well, thought you know, they were so profound for saying it. Like, but what about when? Well, we, y'all you, you, would have killed Adidas if that well, happened. It, back it ain't then. even about that. I think the bigger. I think it is about. Well, let me rephrase that. It is somewhat about that, but there's a self awareness issue in that. I think the other problem mm -hmm. is the fact, and this is what black people are really usually angry about. Is money is made off of black people, black athletes, mm -hmm. black thought, black, and not black thought, the rapper, but black thinking, and black probably culture, also black thought, and bla the also probably and black, black violence, and, bla and black violence. But then when something happens to black people, and black people want someone to be outraged, and maybe some black people are outraged, the white corporations that make money didn't actually do, don't actually do anything. Mm -hmm. My retort to that is. If we want somebody to actually do something, we have to be unified in our stance, like we were unified in our stance when we wanted something for George Floyd's family, and we wanted something there, and we wasn't going to let up on it, or what we wanted for Ahmaud Arbery, and what we got with right. that, and stayed on that. I mean, in every aspect, from right. the legal side, from the social side, from the activism side. There was only side, one side. You at your job, right. me at my job. There was only one side. Only one and we, side. And we know that we need that, and we know that we don't. But that's where the anger comes. Right. The anger and comes the is really your, jealousy, because you're is, jealous of trans movement. You're jealous of how Jews unify, Asians unify, and all of these groups unify to get what they want. This is what Kanye's whole plight is. This is what he stated initially in the Drink Champs and continued to state yes. that he's ultimately jealous of these communities that have more unity and strength to shut someone down and the black people don't. And so and the out. stupidity goes, but now I'm going to offend those groups. Right. right. I'm going to trash them. To try to make my case. <laughs> And that's why we end up on... Congratulations, you played yourself. Because your dumbass, Kanye, and others like you have a tough time articulating your thoughts. And you need to shut up and sort to people who articulate thoughts well. He's not there are people who study this, talk about this, have legislation on... I mean, there's people who've spent their lifetime writing novels, books, research on this. But instead, your dummies... Jump up and use your platform to say nonsensical BS, ruining the whole conversation every goddamn time. It happens a lot. Yeah. And literally every time. He's not gonna do that. I mean, this is that it drives me insane. I hold this back all the time because everybody goes, "Oh, well, this group and that group." Yo, fam, you can't even get your itch together, bro. You can't even articulate your thought. You can't even support people in your community doing the goddamn work. Mm. But you're worried about what somebody else's group is doing. And then got the nerve to insult others because they're more organized. Bro, what is wrong, man? <laughs> what is wrong? <laughs> what is wrong? You want people, yo, literally, you want people on your behalf to be angry for us about things we're not unified and angry about. Make that make sense. It doesn't. <laughs> I mean, what you Congratulations. Said, we're done. You That's yourself, it. Man. I'm back to my easy pass. You good? You good? Back to the easy pass. Cash want to play a song. <laughs> that was beautiful. But a conversation, as you stated. It ain't a conversation. You said they're ruining the conversation. But the, so because they're, you're be ruining it because right you're taking it and, and, and applying it to other people who have had their ish together. And I get it. They, they haven't dealt with slavery. They haven't dealt with Jim Crow. They haven't dealt with redlining. For they sure. haven't dealt with post-traumatic slavery slave disorder. They haven't dealt with none of that. I get all of that. But that doesn't mean you trash them to try to make your point. That's what he's doing. You know what I'm saying? He's like, I'm going to make a stink out of this. He, he certainly did. Bro, you know how much thinking been on this, bro? You don't read Kanye West. You don't read books. Go, Go sit with some world. intellectuals that have literally been talking about this since your mother was born, bro. 
Like our parents were born into this. This conversation's been happening. Bro, by the way, talk to, you want to listen to Candace Owens? Have you ever read Ta-Nehisi Coates? There are, there are brilliant people speaking on these issues. He decides to talk to morons. Right. Ambulance but, chasers. hack a doodle doos That's what he does. And, and you make extremely strong, valid points. <laughs> Thank you. Really? He both did. You. Both no, of he you. did. No, he did. But because the solution has not been brought forward, and it may be a very complex, layered solution. We're wow. the we solution. Have have, right. But we have to continue to have that conversation. We're the solution we know this we have power so stop allowing yourself to be perverted by nonsense talk to people who are experts in a certain field that's it bro we, the key to life is knowing what you don't know and if you don't understand something sit back and listen Support people who do that work.